Good night. Today I'm talking about a global food crisis maybe less than a decade away. For Sarah Menker in a TEDx exposition in August 2017 in Tanzania. So, the expositor uh, starts uh, the exposition by asking this question. How do we feed 9 billion people by 2050? And she uh, uh, proceeds is talking about how uh, agricultural congresses they always ask this question and their solution for this is to produce 70% more food by that time but the problem is we have a food crisis in 28 so the problem is that every day we can produce more but we are getting less area of production so uh, the author was a commodity trader and every and she, she says that every market has a tipping point. The tipping point it impacts the world and creates changes forever and is the point where changes can occur so quickly that they could make a, a drastic changes in a business or whatever area of production we are using. So the agricultural tipping point will be when demand surpasses the agricultural system's production capacity. So, when we can, when there is so many people in the world that they are demanding a, lo a huge amount of food, but we are not producing the amount of food that the world is demanding, that will be the agricultural tipping point. So then, the author, the expositor proceeds talking about how important are the calories for uh, for the humans and she says that the is not about the amount of food that we are consuming but the calories we are consuming the calories are the ones who sustains us and gives us energy to work every day so so uh, then she talked about how these calories impacts in the production of uh, the world's countries. So, there are countries who are net importers, which these countries are the ones that produce less calories than they are consuming. So basically these countries are the ones who not produce too much uh, food and they are not producing, they don't have a good agricultural area. but there are more there are the self-sufficient countries or the net exporters countries and these are the ones who produce more calories than the ones they are consuming so this is an advantage for these countries because uh, they are uh, obviously they are producing more calories than that the the country's population are consuming so they are they have these these food or these calories or this product that they they can export to other countries who are not producing the amount of food that we, they needed so the, we know uh, these countries such as United States and other countries that are important in world's economy and world agricultural agricultural production so in conclusion the author says that we can sustain the life of of the human being or that we can produce more in the less area that we are having uh, through the past of the years and this could sustain uh, the human being and the world's population thank you and good night